Well, hello everybody. I typically don't jump in front of the camera, but I have to be honest, I needed a little bit of a slow down, reset, decompress, and reorganize my life with me video that I've never really done before. I partnered up with my friends over at Squarespace and I have a really awesome announcement that we'll get into as well as other details on Squarespace, who you know I love. Oh, oh my beautiful YouTube family the day has come where I am finally launching something outside of YouTube this is something very near and dear to my heart and my heart's racing right now but I'm officially launching babe space now it is something that you guys need to be a part of are going to be a part of because i have decided to create a creative community blog that only thrives off of the submissions that we get and my beautiful friends that i have little lights within that i need to just turn into huge fires for their passions will share on babe.space it stands for badass international broads now yes it is starting more so locally within my friend group but again with the submissions it doesn't have to be anything crazy these are for all of my women who send me DMs quietly, it's your time to be loud. It is a creative community blog that will eventually hopefully lead into something else that I have planned for it as start as my foundation work. So I am very excited to be kicking this off with the fact that it is only going to thrive as much as you guys contribute. Uh, for now, obviously everything is going in phases, just like here on my channel, I am showing you the process of babe space and it is starting from like absolutely nothing. And in my brain, it is gonna be larger than life. So let's just get into it. I'm so excited. I love you guys so much. Okay. Ah! I wanted to take a quick second to dive into Squarespace, which this video would not be possible without. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to tell your story, share your updates and post photos and videos like you see here throughout babe.space. I'm really excited to be able to categorize the back end, share and schedule my posts to make my content work for me and get that content out to you. Squarespace can authenticate with your social profiles, letting you auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr and all post entries and images are optimized and tagged properly. So the descriptions, titles will be correctly referenced as well. It's really awesome to have a nice workflow. You can set post entries in published draft, scheduled and needs review settings. Entry scheduling lets you schedule entries to be published in the future so it's like we don't have to worry about it again to like, get this type of content out to you consistently head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash mets to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you so much to squarespace for sponsoring today's video i am so excited to see what we do with this platform now let's get back into a day in the life Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through, well, actually, not today. Uh, let's take that back for a second because I ended up being the world's worst vlogger and just didn't vlog anything worthy. So what I'm gonna do is kind of snip together a day in the hustle, what a typical day looks like for me. Some of the things that I do, like working out from home or different books that I read in the morning and how I make my coffee. I mean, it's like random things that you guys have wanted to know about me. So I wanted to show a new side to Rachel because I'm showing a whole new side of my life to you guys with this new launch. Without further ado, I want to show you what my mornings look like, which, uh, I'm very blessed to have mornings like this every single day. Now with my infamous Instagram videos of Callie laying upside down on me and cuddling, those are completely forced. I have been figured out, uh, no, but honestly, she snores all night. I am kicking her 99.99% of the time. I bought earplugs, those do not work because then I sleep in because they're in my ears and the alarm doesn't go off, the whole shebang. But. Uh, when I am over her snoring, that is when I pull her up nice and close and I will spend like 15 minutes just kind of sitting there, law of attracting, manifesting, and setting my own personal mood for the day and what better way than to like snuggle the pup. Number two, I will immediately go and wash my face, brush my teeth because I just cannot stand it. I will wash my face two times if not three times a day because of the sawdust, dirt, and debris. I just feel like I constantly need to be washing it off. I will let you guys know what I use down below. They are recommended to me for my skin by my dermatologist so I can't like link anything for you but I can definitely fill you in on what is going on to my face. Look at the eyebrows my dad gives me. These are the things he likes to just pass on to me. 
And this line comes out because it's coffee time. Right from washing my face before putting like any type of lotion on or anything, I will go start my coffee, which consists of an espresso, thanks to Holly to introducing me to Nespresso. And then I will whip up some of the Chobani coffee creamer in the vanilla and use this little like thing that um Holly has. Again, thanks Holly. <laughs> Good morning, Chunky. How you doing? You wanna go outside and go potty? Maybe you wanna cuddle a little bit more. Just a little bit longer. Good nose whistle. What? While my coffee is brewing and whipping, I will head into the garage where I keep like my skin products that I like refrigerated or frozen and then my HelloFresh products as well because I leave the fridge inside all for Holly's cooking necessities. I have a plethora of different eye masks to choose from. So again, I will link everything down below that I utilize, but I will swap out between whatever one I am feeling. The one I'm loving the most is the green tea caffeinated things but who really knows if they do anything i just love the morning routine ritual of it all and before you guys are like what in the world are you doing rachel metz in the garage um i put all my stuff in the garage that way holly can still have her fridge for food because this woman loves 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 to cook so i like to keep her fridge as clear as possible and plus mine's already like hello fresh chef it up over here this guy over my e-balls so funny i've never done a vlog i've never done any type of situation and of course i'm gonna kick it off being the biggest hot mess favorite part of the morning you guys have followed me for any length of time any at all you guys would know my two staples are eye patches and robes after i do this i do my little morning routine with my five minute journal and i read a little bit of my book Women who run with the wolves. And then we'll start to office. And right. you wanna cuddle? After I put on my eye patches, I will go and snuggle back up in my bed, which is so warm and cozy, and work on the two things that I call my non-negotiables every single day, just for me personally to start the day off right and to get myself in the right mental space. Number one is the five minute journal. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably aren't annoyed or overwhelmed with the amount that I post this every single day, but I really do love that it genuinely takes less than five minutes to fill out. And it's just like a great reminder of what do you want to accomplish for the day? How do you want to feel? And what are you grateful for? I like that it centers me first thing every single morning and then it has a checklist at night. Okay, so this will prompt you either with like a weekly challenge or a quote. Like this one says, we have two lives and the second begins when we realize we only have one. And then it asks you, what are three things that you're grateful for? what would make today great and then your daily affirmations that's for the am and then the darker shaded one is your pm which says what are three amazing things that happened today and then how could you have made today better which i like because it gives you a moment for constructive criticism on yourself which is something that i need to work on one thing that i truly believe in no matter how busy you are is to create a morning routine that makes you feel good and these two things make me feel really great. So I'm going to share them with you guys. So the second non-negotiable that I have is reading at least a chapter out of this book before I even do anything else. And it's just a personal preference of mine. You can do whatever book that you fancy. Um, I also overwhelm Instagram with little insert what snippets of this book. And I just completely adore it, especially with the chapter that I'm going through right now, which again, this whole video is about uh, me and my power circle. And... I guess you could say that I want to be running with the wolves as well. This book is called Women Who Run With the Wolves. It's myths and story of the wild woman archetype. Jeez, your girl has to look up all these um, words sometimes. And that's why I take it chapter by chapter. Because just like I do with my makeovers, everything has to be very digestible. And I just am not the best reader. So it's either audiobooks or I have to break it down into little bites for my brain to comprehend but i do highly recommend this book if you are a woman in specific just because i feel like it is answering a lot of these weird questions that i've always had and again this is just a personal preference opinion uh but this book does have a special pull to me right now and i am very grateful for it and my office is full so we're using my bed which i love i love bed office it's my favorite thing in the world we'll boost up <laughs> let's do it 
in the morning too when I have time I will allot at least 30 to 45 minutes specifically for me to stay on my computer and comment back to you guys or office and just make sure all my emails are being responded to and I'm keeping up on everything after the morning routine is complete sometimes I will work out sometimes I will not I don't think I showcase it this time around because I did it so late and I just looked so haggard but you guys always ask me my workout routine and Chloe Ting hooks your girl up because it's free. She's knowledgeable and I used to work out at a Legree studio, work out at a Legree studio, which is like a Pilates super hybrid. So I incorporate slow movements with Chloe Ting's workouts. I like cut, I DIY my own workout. I literally use ankle weights. I have two different weights. This is the lighter one. And then I have two bands, a black and a gray one. And then a mat that I throw on in the middle of my floor, which you can see in my closet makeover. So if I do that, then I will shower, get ready for the day. But the tried and true always is coming to my weekly to-do list. I am in the middle of painting this for a video. And yes, like I said, everything in phases. And I wanted to show you kind of how my brain works. Also, I cut my finger, so look, that one's all floppy. Where my brain works when I'm like breaking down video ideas. So I'm filming two at one time. This one's gonna be for Acorn the Fireplace Part One. The Day in the Life Hustle Q&A is gonna be the Squarespace, because that's like my website launch, launch with my community. Um, but this is kind of like where my brain goes now not everybody is a to-do list person but i am a list on list on list person so not only do i have it written down here it is in my phone in my notes it is also on my whiteboard to the right of me and then it is also in like a specific to-do list app within my phone i just like i measure five times and cut once i also write everything down seven thousand times to get into my brain once to make sure that i'm getting it done being a one woman show is really really fun and it is a huge blessing and I'm always grateful but if I let something slip through the cracks it's all eyes on me you know so if I don't have it written down if I don't have it readily available in my phone to kind of cross my t's and dot my i's I tend to feel a little lost throughout my day and at the end of the day if I haven't written anything down and I'm not crossing anything off I don't have like a sense of validation for what I got done because I do work from home I don't have like a typical nine to five so sometimes I'll like sit down at the end of the day and be like well what exactly did we do it felt like we just painted a wall and that might be the case but it's for a good reason and it is scheduled out because it's helping me get something done now at any given time i am probably working on a combination of anywhere from two to five projects at one given time during the day now how i do that is i like to rotate what can be done so if something is painting and needs to be drying i can turn around and do something on the inside like hang up details in a room makeover or maybe start filming the befores of a makeover and that's where you you'll see this vlog footage come in right now it's just a combination of me doing all the things to kind of make everything flow together to hopefully hit our deadlines and make sure that I'm pumping out content in a timely manner for you guys which is kind of funny because I feel like you're watching this now in like a very content abundant week <laughs> once I have a realistic timeline of my day that is when I will kind of just tackle the beast step by step and I like to write out things specifically in time like 8 a.m wake up 9 a.m workout 10 a.m be on the move to Home Depot or whatever other errands that you have to run and like be back to the house and start filming now I'm heading to get my car washed because we're gonna come back to the house do a couple of things that um need to sit and dry and then we're gonna head to a very secret meeting that I'm very excited about because I've been wanting to pursue things outside of YouTube and I think this is the first catalyst to it so it's very exciting I'm not gonna bring you with me um because I don't want to jinx it people come on now it's 10 35 and my official 10 35 p.m in my official work day um it's just getting started. Being a creator, there's a lot of hiccups in the road sometimes, which leads to schedules being pushed back, which leads to like adjusting projects and whatnot. And tonight is just one of those nights. Sometimes I can't get everything done, like I said before, and it will roll over into late night. Honestly, I'm probably working to 1 a.m. 
six days out of the seven, uh, which I don't personally mind because I actually love what I do and I feel just a very awesome sense of belonging right now through this chapter to be able to create content and stay up and be really proud of what I'm putting out. So again, it will roll into late night and I will just adjust my days for the next day accordingly to ensure that we are kind of staying on track. Okay, so this is the exterior right now. Just a bunch of stuff everywhere. And I'm just gonna lock up, clean all of this tomorrow. It takes me five seconds because it's not that much. So let's go wash Cali. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you walk through paint? Shall we take a bath? Yes or no? It's been a while since we've gotten one of these. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you can't put your leg there. <laughs> For Callie, I use this hypoallergenic shampoo that is fragrance free that actually works for her and the hives and the irritations that she used to get. So I actually wash her maybe once a month because I actually wipe her down with hypoallergenic wipes two to three times a day that keeps her nice and white. I've linked everything down below for you. Please. Okay. Okay. Get your stomach if you're not listening. Should my grand gen after you've bathed? One. Two. Three. Oh boy. Oh, she's saying she's clean and she's mean and she is lean. Show them all the things. What are you gonna do? Oh my God. I wondered now if you guys know that I filmed so many things at once, you guys can kind of keep track of the outfits and see like, oh my God, she really was filming four things at once. Cause I feel like sometimes us YouTubers, we like to embellish a little bit, but that is the case with me here. We leave for Joshua Tree on Monday. So we have two days. Today we're just gonna finish up painting the fireplace and cutting the wood down um, for the frame and getting that up. So now that that last coat is drying, I trimmed it last night. So it takes way longer than you anticipate. I'm gonna go ahead and update this project wall. So it kind of sucks that I can't like walk you through a day and like complete a project, complete an edit, complete a voiceover because there is so much content like rapidly firing at all times that I need to be on all cylinders personally. So I feel like that means all projects have to kind of flow at one time harmoniously and then i will end the day the same way that i began it washing my face just making it nice clean and cozy and then i will snuggle up with callie fill out that five minute journal and just kind of recenter my day if not i will meditate if i do have the time or if i'm not falling asleep because of how much physical labor we did but um one thing i did fail to mention is i will try my hardest throughout every single day at least once a day to foam roll you need to foam roll and stretch you have one body so take care of it just like your tools take care of your tools you need to take care of the tool that you have that is your body at night right before i go to bed i will allot myself only about 15 to 20 minutes to play catch up on my email and that is because i just really believe in not like falling asleep with work even though i am working late i will just do a little bit of correspondence right before i pass out to just make sure that my inbox is at least at everything is red because i hate a full inbox with the launch of babe i just wanted to kind of show you guys a side of me that you haven't seen lately and that's the q a side of things to see what you guys wanted to know so let's jump into a bit of a q a that i asked over on my instagram if you're not following me go ahead head over there for like behind the scenes and constant dog stories but for right now let's just jump into a couple of questions and the ones that i don't answer i will be doing a live to over here on youtube where you guys can also ask me more questions if you're not really jiving with the ones that are here now you guys really went hard okay close my eyes and click can you post more of callie she is totally my favorite insta dog and the fact that a dog messaged me yes of course i can post more callie i have a whole highlight reel of callie over on my instagram so if you're missing her head over there and click it and watch through because i think it's like when she's a little bit of a puppy i max it out every time though on days that you're feeling down how do you motivate yourself 
um okay so this is something that's just like maybe typically not normal of other humans but for me in specific i don't really get down when i get down i turn to my work and i just bust through it there's always like this work ethic and this drive like right when i open my eyes no matter how i'm feeling i just kind of hear go and i do not stop until i feel like i've completed all my goals for the day and i feel great laying down at night why don't you think you're an interesting person oh um that had to do with me saying i'm not an interesting person over on my instagram now it's not that i don't think i'm interesting i just think some of the ways that my brain works you guys can't really like get a handle on unless you like were to sit down with me or maybe if i had a podcast and you got a little bit of, of a closer and deeper look into my brain it's very hard to give you like a surface level because i am not a surface person how are you i am really good i've kind of been in la la land lately which is great because i would I just decided after my breakup like since I couldn't move to another country and start another life that I wanted to become another person not in a weird way but in a way of like adopting these new personality traits that I've always envied in other people and that I really wanted to test out myself so it's really cool and I know it's a generic question is how are you but I am really 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 incredible because I really can see myself um, starting to like execute these personality traits that I've been wanting to have in my little tool belt of a personality for quite some time. Okay, here's the question. Is this your first time watching Grey's Anatomy? Oh my gosh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I also re-watch Grey's Anatomy like nobody's business, but I think because so many of you guys follow along and you're new, you think I'm like newly watching Grey's Anatomy every single time. That was my third, fourth, third, third time through so no not my first time watching Grey's Anatomy come on Bailey somebody page Dr. Bailey <laughs> what inspires you honestly everything it depends on the project if it's like a necessity for a person that I love that person inspires me because I don't really do makeovers for people that aren't uh, in my inner circle or somebody that does kind of light a fire underneath me what else inspires me is just the fact that I'm in this new chapter in my life and I don't want to be a roommate for very long I want to work towards a house or flipping an Airbnb or you know something larger than life outside of being in somebody else's house so although I am so grateful for Holly and her house I, I just kind of am feeling um, inspired to be able to have my own home and be a boss broad like Holly you know will you show us the wall you've been writing your projects on I did in this vlog so if you're not watching mcat929 uh, jokes on you well not jokes on you you just missed out your reckless for a starter kit would be helpful new home gal looking to do small builds I have a tool time video and I also have a tool talk I think playlist tool talk tool time video playlist where I give helpful tips and tricks for other tools and kind of walk you through details of tools so hopefully that is helpful when will your blog be up uh, when this video is live very exciting stuff drop that skincare routine you are flawless uh, no I just know my angles and my light but yes, I dropped my skincare down below for you guys. Again, it's all dermatologist recommended for my skin specifically. Um, so that is why there is no links for you guys. What is my favorite book? Please see previous women who run with the wolves. Or if you want something else, I love Untethered Soul. I listen to that at least twice a year. And then I also love David Goggins' book. I listen to that at least twice a year as well since it came out. What helps me get out of a mental funk? Um, this is a good one to kind of segue into Babe as well. So what helps me get out of a mental funk is talking to my closest friends, my power circle. Again, if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, you won't see our monthly Joshua Tree trips that we take together um, and it's friends I've been quarantining with so we do everything nice and socially distant and safe but besides that uh, that is how I get out of a mental funk I call one of them I just know who I can dial and um, specifically the energy that I need when I am in a mental funk because I think one really cool thing about being an adult and just a human in general when you get to like a mature state of mind is realizing that you have full control over how you feel so when you're in a mental funk it's just a feeling and it's fleeting and how I look at it is like traffic right you're you know on a freeway when things get jammed up people will stop to look at the accident that's kind of how I look at emotion or chaos 
um, and you're gonna kind of slow down and look at it but you just need to keep driving and move on so that's how I look at a mental funk but in order to get out of it I will call those people that are like do not stop and look at the accident move forward everything will be okay insurance will take care of it these people will be fine uh, bada bing bada boom and you're on to the next Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. Again, I know that my content is a little bit different lately for you all, but I did just want to like stop and smell the roses, if you will, for you guys for a moment that I'm very excited for. So if you want to head over to babe.space, see how you can contribute to the content because it shouldn't just be me giving to the DIY community or us influencers or us YouTube content creators i really believe there are more powerful voices that need to be heard and everybody that slides into my dms it is your time to be a little bit on the louder side of things and be super proud of what you're creating thank you so much for watching today's episode thank you so much to squarespace for sponsoring your girl consistently and just supporting her dreams and now giving me a complete platform to share even more people's dreams visions uh with the world so i'll catch you soon for another DIY. I love you guys so much.